I think what people want to hear though is just a yes or no on that question. Yes or no. I, I cannot be anti-Semitic if I know where I come from. If I know where I come from. If I know where I come from. According to the TMZ article, rabbis forced to remove pro-Jewish signs after interaction with Kyrie. A group of rabbis were forced to put away their pro-Jewish signs at the Utah Jazz vs. Dallas Mavericks game on Monday after they claimed Kyrie Irving complained to security and asked the signs be removed. Rabbi Abramai Zappel, a diehard jazz fan, says he and his three peers caught courtside seats to the matchup on purpose with the intent to send a message to the NBA superstar after his anti-Semitism controversy from back in October 2022. During the first quarter, the four rabbis held up signs that said, I am a Jew and I'm proud, and Irving acknowledged them. Zappel claims Irving initially said, nice, I'm a Jew too before adding, don't gotta bring something like that to the game. Shortly after the interaction, the rabbi says security came over and told them that they had to quit holding up the signs, citing a policy against having posters in the front row. A second staffer, Zappel claims, later told them it was because Irving complained. Worth noting, Zappel told the Salt Lake Tribune the signs were not meant as a political statement, as they did not mention the war in Israel. He also told the outlet he went over the team's policy several times to make sure they weren't violating any rules. Despite his research, the Jazz released a statement on the matter, saying their signs broke the code of conduct. No matter where someone is in the arena, if a sign becomes distracting or sparks an interaction with a player, we will ask them to remove it, the team stated. I just want to say, way to stand your ground, Kyrie, and not back down. Unlike other celebrities in the same hot seat, you stood your ground. For the record, do you have any anti-Semitic beliefs? Again, I'm gonna repeat. I don't know how the label becomes justified because you guys ask me the same questions over and over again, but this is not gonna turn into a spin around cycle, questions upon questions. I told you guys how I felt. I respect all walks of life and embrace all walks of life. That's where I sit. I think what people want to hear though is just a yes or no on that question. Yes or no. I, I cannot be anti-Semitic if I know where I come from. What's your thoughts? Please be respectful with your comments. Also, please click the like, click the notification bell, and subscribe to this channel. Listen, Genesis chapter 11 verse 10 explains the genealogy of Shem. Shem was a black man in Africa. If you repeat this back, Genesis 14 verse 13, Abraham steps on the scene. Being a descendant of Shem, which is a fact, means Abraham too was black. Abraham, born in the city of a black man, called Nimrod, grandson of Ham. Ham had four sons. One was named Cain. Here, let me do some explaining. Abraham Isaac was the father. Jacob had 12 sons, for real. And these were the children of Israel. According to Genesis chapter 10, these were the children of Israel. According to Genesis chapter 10, these were the children of Israel. According to Genesis chapter 10.